guys, welcome to my brand new series, Border Sims. A new, it's like a build series, but it might also turn to a let's play down the line, depending on how well, like, all these builds go. I'm doing a build series called Border Sims, where I do basically a whole bunch of apocalyptic themed and dystopian themed builds for a save that I've called Border Sims, because I have been playing a lot of Borderlands recently, and I just finished Borderlands 2, and I'm now playing the pre-sequel. And Borderlands 2 was amazing, and I can't wait for Borderlands 3 to come up. So I kind of got inspired to uh, make a save based around apocalyptic themes and the idea of an apocalyptic wasteland uh, world where all the worlds have just sort of chaos has happened, and all the Sims are now living in sort of these rundown like shacks and like houses and like old sort of like community like builds and junkyards, and like people are turning into bandits. And I just thought that I, it would be like a fun, like sort of idea to have, to make it apocalyptic themed. So I had to, and the first thing I had to think of was, first off, what type of things am I going to build, and also how did the world come the way it is. So my first build I thought I'd do is an old auto repair shop. It was going to be a gas station originally, but uh, looking at some builds, I looked at some gas station builds on the gallery, and some of them were pretty good. And as I was building this, I was like, this isn't really turning into a gas station, but more looks like a sort of mechanics auto repair shop where you brought cars to be built. And because we now have those cool debug items from the Strangeville patch update, uh, which gave us like the cacti and the trees and the rocks and some cars, I thought it'd be fun to make an auto repair shop that some people have lived in. So the plot basically for Border Sims is... And I'm using the Strangerville idea for this because I figured this actually worked quite well because it was already like an underlying plot. Was that the mother plant came down and basically invaded Strangerville. The plants got everywhere and no one could stop the mother plant. Anyone who tried to stop the mother plant with vaccines and stuff just got eaten, essentially. So, you know, kind of kind of grimdark. And what happened is basically people started leaving Strangerville. The only people who ended up staying in Strangerville were people who, who had already got possessed and didn't want to leave. And people who just, you know, were scavers and couldn't get out of the town fast enough because the town got quarantined off, almost. Because uh, I say almost because you can't really quarantine Sims to worlds in, in The Sims 4. And you can see I'm making a sort of... I'm turning these HVACs into cinder blocks to look like the car is sitting on top of it while it was being worked on, which I thought was pretty neat. And we got these tyres as well. And the RVs, which I quite like. So the plot is, is that Strangerville kind of had the invasion of the mother plant. Because uh, people started leaving Strangerville and the surrounding towns, they all started going down to Oasis Springs, which I like to head cannon as being sort of near, like on the way, like up to Del Sol Valley almost. So you've got like, because it's the both density areas, and you've got this sort of idea of like people were coming in straight into Oasis Springs, and there was just not enough space for these people, and just chaos just started to happen. There was rioting, there was violence, there was looting, and then the science lab got broken into, and then just chaos just formed and then it was sort of like a cataclysmic sort of like pile of house of card dominoes thing where everything just started going down and Sam Mishuno was lucky in this in that they were able to quarantine off the city. So Sam Mishuno is going to be like this sort of ultra cool dystopic totalitarian cityscape. So I'm going to have to do lots of uh, like um, oh god futuristic kind of like themes for that. I'm also going to be using CC uh, in this build as well, and anytime I use CC in a build, I will link the CC in the description, so if you want to download the build, you will be able to download the CC with it, so it won't be missing from the build once you get it. So, there's no CC in this build, because I thought I'd start off with the auto repair shop, which will have, like, there's some beds and stuff, and it looks like there's people who moved in, and they figured out what to do, they sort of figured out how to make this place work, and turn it into a sort of livable area, but while still keeping that auto repair shop feeling. And so this is sort of like, I made it look like, um, you know, a typical kind of petrol station. And I've not really been in many petrol stations. I don't own a car, personally, so I don't go to petrol stations and stuff. Although, I always sat in the car when my parents would fill up on the, pe on the petrol for our car. And also, I love these plain white swatches, so happy for those. But I'm not using the plain white swatch because it wasn't going with the theme of the build. So I'm making a sort of like little area where you'd pay for... You know, you pay to get your car repaired. The car would go in there, you get billed, and you could buy like a snack or a drink or like a trinket. That'd be the kind of thing. And then I made it so they have like a little bathroom in there. Like the small bathroom was kind of big and there'd be like, I know, storage cabinets in there. But they removed it and put in like a DIY 
uh, bathtub instead because these people are like we're gonna be living here now so we need to make this livable essentially so we got like you, you can kind of tell it's like kind of a community bathroom area with like the hand sanitizer and the paper dispenser and then I sort of turned this area into like a small um like auto repair shop that they kind of cleared it out there's still some clutter in there but ultimately it still looks fine they could turn it into a livable area and I love these garage um, doors I thought these were perfect to sort of have it so they're closed off now but they could used to open them up and I thought that was pretty cool and I made sure to double it on either on both sides so it didn't have just the wall there and it actually looked like garage doors and then I just put in a bunch of get to work clutter stuff and I put the counters in but the problem I'm having currently with all my clutter is a lot of the stuff that comes with the game and the expansion packs is you can't put them on the shelves. Very few clutter decals can go on the shelves, which I'm kind of hoping the devs will do something with that. Because I love putting stuff on shelves. Like, what's the point of having shelves if you can't put things on them? I know collectibles can go on them, but I feel like that's the only thing that can really go on shelves. So I sort of made this sort of like payment area here, which sort of turned into like just an area where they just kept a whole bunch of like, you know, clutter and stuff and like small personal items whilst they were living in this cool little auto repair shop. And I tried to make it, you know, also run down as well. There's cracks in the walls, wallpapers coming off. Uh, also those stains from um, Strangerville. Uh, there is like a sort of brownish one brownish red one which I thought would make good for the auto repair shop area where it looks like the uh so it looks like the walls have rusted a bit from water damage which I thought was pretty good maybe because I made it I put it on like under the window so it looks like the water was leaking in and rusting rusting out the walls and I love these I love these cars you can see me here just trying to make it so it's roughly the same height as the other one and then put the HVAC cinder blocks down so it's got somewhere to so it looks like they were being held up because they were being worked on because these are just car parts that someone was maybe building a car for someone here and they were basically like fine parts and just slowly put it together over time. Which I thought was pretty good. And you got to have the bathtub as well. And I love the fact that you could put the tyres in because I thought it would be fun to stack the tyres up. I put the RV out here to look, it look like um, someone had moved in and they'd left the RV there because they didn't want to um, cause they didn't want to move it out the way. So they had the RV at the back behind behind the repair shop and just put some like little decals in here because I wanted to make livable areas so you've got uh, this bit with all the decor the main repair shop area workshop I did put some beds in there because I figured some people wanted to sleep in there and then on the upper floor on the roof I've got like sort of where the food is made where people can just sit and chill for a bit and also some beds up there as well and the back will have a tent because it's going to be an idea that people moved into this place, like maybe four or five sims moved in. And they was just like, what do we do? We've got to figure out a way to make a life here. So they kind of moved in. They just like sort of just, I'll sleep on the roof. I'll sleep in the repair shop. I've got a tent. I'll just sleep in the back garden kind of thing. And I was trying to put decal up here. So I was like, what can I put up here? So I did put a couple of frogs down. Maybe they found some frogs and they just thought they'd keep them for a little bit. And found some rocks there. The tub of snails. I can't remember where I had that. Again, I just thought it was an interesting little piece of clutter there because I had all debug stuff sorted out as well so I could access the debug stuff really quickly. And it, it sort of turned out really well in the end. I was pretty happy with this first build for Border Sims and I do kind of want to use it maybe in the future. If I turn this into a Let's Play, which I kind of want to do, the problem is it's because there's so many, there's over like 160 lots over all the worlds to put together. So I'm just trying to think what I could do for each of them and also what I would need to do for each world specifically because Oasis Springs and Strangeville kind of easy to figure out with because they're all very deserty so you can do apocalyptic stuff quite easily uh, and then you've got San Machino I can turn I can like sort of have that cordoned off essentially into a cool like totalitarian city thing and to get into the city you need a permit essentially so I'd have to try and get like some sort of maybe those key cards from Strangeville turn them into like little like ID cards essentially that you could have so like if you have this ID card you can get into the city whenever you need to but you can't stay in there too long because you don't live there that kind of thing and uh, just also making more like rundown features to it I do like making it kind of run down I thought that worked pretty well because it did look a bit too clean and then just trying to put in like some of these like military beds and maybe the camping the camping beds like you know you can't really afford luxuries now in, in the world that's kind of gone downhill because of a chaotic alien invasion kind of thing and it's just sort of spiraled down from there but I did like the idea of using the top of that actually the top of that was actually inspired by a forgotten gas station I saw on the gallery with the circles so I was I spent a while trying to look for them 
but it works quite well to make it look like it's like an auto repair shop. And I just terrain painted the floor because I love terrain painting, just to make the ground look kind of dirty and the grass has died a little bit. And just making this sort of upstairs bit like it's it's the closest they'll get to like a comfortable living area. And I don't think it rains very much in Oasis Springs. So they don't really have much to worry about in terms of rain because it'll it's mostly sunny all the time there, which is pretty good. So it makes the summer really hard to live with. So I put a little chess like plate board out in the back. Maybe there's something they can just play chess with me that they found maybe in the basement somewhere while out like scavenging. I had to move things around. I did put a laptop and a desk in here. Maybe someone had like found their own port like laptop that they brought with them after the whole chaos started to fall through. So I thought that'd be pretty interesting now because you need some form of technology. And I was also trying to think around Borderlands and what Pandora looks like in Borderlands 2 because there's a lot of um like there's a lot of technological stuff you could use, but also the place is kind of grungy and run down, apocalyptic looking anyway. But that's just the way the the world works. I also did add a little bit more to the roof up here, just so there was a bit more space, and also so my uh, bug device had a roof over it, so it wouldn't get wet in case it did rain. So that was why I did that. And I put a journal down in case that belonged to someone, where they write in their journal about how they're living in this post-apocalyptic kind of. World. and I thought about a microwave but I decided against it but I added also like another a fireplace because I got like a small fire on the roof and also fire in the back garden as well and I think I called this I called this the springs auto repair shop I did also add these uh, cardboard things down because that was that, that looked quite good and also kind of made it run down as well I added those um, parking stops as well and just some graffiti to make it look a little bit more run down like this place kind of fell to disrepair it kind of got abandoned and then people just sort of gave up on it and then some people moved in and turned it into their own little the closest they could get to a home and so I, I enjoyed I enjoyed building this and I enjoy this new theme and if you could notice then while I was scanning through all my wall decals you notice I have some Borderlands wall stickers uh, which are all the name of um, specific companies that are featured in the game. I also have a, I do have actually a bunch of Borderlands CC. I've got an Echo Recorder, which I uh, managed to find. I also have Handsome Jack's outfit. I don't have his skin overlay because it looks really weird on my Sims. So, and I'm not very good at designing Jack, so I just figured just to not have the overlays because they look cute, but they kind of don't match the aesthetic of the game. But the uh, the echo and some of the like decorations I found worked pretty well, and also got to add in, got to add in some of that desert, that desert um, uh, decoration because this is Oasis Springs. Just adding in some desert, some plants, some cacti and rocks to make it look a little more lived in, and these debug flowers. These are really interesting. I didn't even know these would have been added into the game, but I love them and they look really cool because they kind of look like these just overgrown flowers that just grow in these like sort of wild weeded areas. Which I thought was pretty good. And add some rocks as well for effect. So this is uh, the auto repair shop. It looks pretty good overall. It's not up on the gallery yet. As soon as uh, this video has gone up. I might wait a couple days. And then just put it up on the gallery. Because I need to uh, just check um, check the, the backstory on it. As well as uh, tags and tags and stuff. And just any problems with it before it goes up. In case I need to put some. Uh, just need to debug some things. Or move some things around. Or maybe add some extra things in but it looks really good and one thing I do want to add is if you want to download these if there is CC I will put the link in the description so you can download the CC before you download the lot but if there isn't CC that's fine but all my builds are going to be under the hashtag border sims because that's the uh, name of the series and I thought that would actually be pretty easy uh, hashtag to work with especially because I don't have much space for hashtags after writing all the backstories out so that was uh, one idea for this so we have the Springs Auto Repair Shop is the name of this it was initially called the old auto repair shop but Springs sounded a bit better because it's set in Oasis Springs and we got some pictures coming up now it looks really good and I like the way this turned out and I hope you guys will enjoy these and if you have ideas for me on what builds you want me to do get, let me know in the comments and I'll try and get to work on them and also what kind of sims do you think would live in this sort of like borderlines that's post-apocalyptic scenario what kind of personalities would they have what jobs would they have what would they do in their spare time like who would they live with and just let me know little things like that and I can start putting together this save and then I think I might put the save out there. 
uh, which could be kind of fun. But I might turn this into a series later down the line as I get more and more builds done. And maybe once the save is finished, I'll turn it into a proper Let's Play series. So thank you guys so much for watching me play my new Border Sims series, watching me build these cool post-apocalyptic themes. And let me know in the comments if you like them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.